been a long old day. I've rebrewed the raspberry hefeweizen that we lost in the keg disaster. And now I'm going to treat myself into my vocation glass. It's going to go. I've left it all week. I've left it so it's not been moved, not been shaken to the dip. It's been conditioning in the can all week. I popped it in the fridge three hours ago. Actually, what's the time? Eight o'clock. Four and a bit hours ago. And now this is going to be my first taste of Harrison's Brewery proof of concept. Get it in glass. I've just been wibbling on for about five minutes telling you about this beer and I've just realised that I haven't been fucking recording. <laughs> oh, what a knob. So what can I tell you about this beer? This is um, absolutely outstanding. I just did this thing where I've said, vacant gesture, that's a, a beautiful afternoon drinker for, you know, hot summer, summery sort of like days just sat around. This is a night time. This says, take me out and party. This is, a, and it's only 4.3, 4.3%. Yeah, 4.3. First thing you get is that massive mosaic and um, Simcoe. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful pairing. And then there's um, a Columbus and I think it's Amarillo. Hang on, it's on there somewhere. Yeah, Columbus and Amarillo. The Citra kind of yeah it's there but it's that mosaic and uh, simcoe combo which is just i mean this is um this is a stunning beer and as oh hang on everyday ipa full session yeah yeah okay it does all this you know lemon peach orange yeah and and yeah, stone fruit crisp bitterness hints of pine that's all your uh, beer judging certification program, BJCP or Cicerone. They they know all that stuff. I don't. I'm not really that cultured. I know what I like to drink, and this is what I like to drink. This is blindingly good. And this is this is again. This is more my style, and and that is definitely the Mad Professor. Actually, it does look a little bit like me. I'm a bit worried about that. Mm. Do you know what? That's outstanding. So that's I've got twelve twelve beers, six of this, six of vacant, and that's twelve very, very fine beers. I d I can't um I'm not really that good at at, at, at sort of um uh describing those those kind of like feelings and emotions that come you know but the first thing when you open a can you really get in that that mosaic and simcoe and even now i mean it's just actually now i'm really getting getting the amarillo and maybe the citra just sniffing at it but it is blinding um yeah and i did pour the rest of the can in there um i don't know if the video caught a bit where i was saying how brilliant um it was, uh, but yeah, I'll treat it like half of ice. Um, no, not yeah. Swill it around. Chuck the rest in there. Lovely. Been a long day. This is just what I needed. I tell you, this is. This holds its. This holds itself up against some of the really classic um, American IPAs. Even kind of yeah. I've I've tried Heady Topper and, and stuff. This, all right. Obviously, you know, I don't want I don't want Chris Harrison to think that I'm comparing Harrison's Brewery to um, the Alchemist in America. I wouldn't want to do that. It would be completely unfair. But I'd very very happily send a couple of these over to some friends in America um, and see what they think, because I reckon they will be blown away by this, uh, as I am. In fact, I'm just wibbling now. <laughs> it's nice. 
I think it's only going to get better in the can if I if I leave those a couple of weeks to my birthday, which I don't tell people when my birthday is. I just say always say a couple of weeks, close enough. I've got I've got three very special beers that I'm going to be drinking on my birthday, and I'm going to add one of these and a vacant gesture to it as well. I've got one beer which um, people will be blown away by, because um, you just can't get it. Um, it's from uh, Will Myers in uh, at the Cambridge Brewing Company in Boston, in America, and uh, it's so rare that um, I got a little three hundred and thirty liter, you know, centiliter, you know, third of a third of a thingy. What's it? Uh, that he gave me as a present um, for taking him out on the boat when he was visiting Sheffield. And I've hung on to it all this time. And hopefully Dan and Martha will be giving me a bottle of the um, collab that they did while he was here. I'm going to try and save one of those, but also have one of those on my birthday. So this is actually going to be a birthday, a bit of a birthday glug. Lovely. How about that? Right, that's it now. I'm sorry, this has been what a terribly boring for those of you who are not who are not drinking it i do apologize uh, but not much if you like the all these wibbles then please feel free to subscribe this is proof of concept from harrison's brewery and i'll leave a link underneath as to where you can buy it and full disclosure chris sent me these for free he didn't ask me to make a video um in fact he i think he was probably hoping that i wouldn't because I, I you know can tend to be a little bit of a embarrassing fanboy and whatever but there you go harrison's brewery proof of concept link below i'll probably put a link on screen who knows i don't even know myself that's that's how that's how affected i am by this wonderful brew that's it cheers guys have a good weekend